Hello friends, Kid Charming here. I just had a pumpkin, pumpkin spice muffin, it was really good. Uh, yeah, where are my contacts today? Which by the way, was a difficult task. So it was time to switch them out. My other ones are ripped, by the way. I looked at them today, so I was like, ah, time for new ones. So, right eye went in like a champ. Left eye, though. No. Trying to put it in. Took it right out of the package. It's crisp, new. Never seen dirt. It was great. Trying to put it in. My eye's not cooperating. I drop it. Then I can't find it. I'm like, oh God, no. Please, no. Eventually find it behind some lotion or something. I'm gonna rinse it off. Not with water, of course, but with the cleaning solution. I'm like, okay, it's all clean. You know, I put it in like a bath of it and I sprayed it, all that stuff. Which I put in my eye. Doesn't it drop again in the sink? So now I've got to do all of that washing all over again. So I finally get it in, whatever. Then I'm finding that it's irritating. Like there's something wrong. It's it's just like it feels like there's something there. So I take the dog out, I bring it back in, I go back to the bathroom, I take it out, which took forever, by the way, for whatever reason. And as I'm like, you know, rinsing it off. Don't I drop it in the sink a third time? Finally got it all washed and put in my eyeball and now I'm fine. Everything's okay. So that was fun. I'm going to say bye to Lena. Find out she works at three. She's doing the closing shift tonight. Great. No wife when I get home. I mean, she's not like when she works nine to five, she's not home when I get home anyway. At least I know she's going to be home in a couple hours. Not tonight. She's working the closing shift, which means I'm not going to see her until probably around 12-ish. Which I should be sleeping by then. Sad panda is sad. Sad panda is sad. So, I'm like, okay, great. Me and the dog, I guess. I stepped on the scale today. I've gained weight. So, I gotta like get my mind in. I gotta, I gotta get myself situated. I need to get myself good. I need to get myself in the right mindset to, to, to really take losing weight and, and, and getting everything you know, my body healthy seriously now. I'm not as young as I used to be. And I know people are like, oh, you're only 28. Like, you know, no big deal, no big deal. No, 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 bruh. My body is finally telling me you are not young anymore. People are like, are you a little young? No, my body's telling me you need to get your crap in order right now. Because guess what? You're not 16 anymore. <laughs> you can't do what you want and sleep as little as possible and still be functioning in the morning. You can't eat all this sugary crap and think you're going to feel fine. My body's telling me, grow up. And I'm telling my body, well, at first I was telling my body, screw you, man. You can't tell me what to do. And now I'm like, okay, I get it. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm sorry. No more abuse. I promise. I'll eat better. I'll start exercising better. I'll, I'll do, I swear. Empty promises, it feels like. But I need to do this. Like, I'm not... <laughs> like, these lines here showing. I, I, I'm getting I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting older. I need to start acting older for my body. That doesn't mean I'm going to go right to prunes and <laughs> stuff like that. I'm not 80. Not that if you like prunes, you're 80. But you're most likely 80. Um... So yeah, I, I, I'm learning some things. Another thing that I had a revelation about today because I got angry when someone whipped out in front of me that didn't belong there. And I may have revved my engine and tailgated them for a while. 
And then when I got the chance, I passed them doing 115. I need to not do stuff like that. Now, I will be 100% honest with you. This revelation that I'm about to express to you that I want to follow, by the time I record the second part of this, I might have forgotten it completely. And that happens to me a lot. Because implementing things is a lot more difficult than realizing them. It is like a million times more difficult. So what I'm realizing is, is that I let things affect me. Now, what I mean by that is when you react to a situation, how you react is always a choice whether you feel like it is or not. Now, don't get mad. When this was brought to my attention by my dad when I was younger, I argued with him. I said, that's wrong. And he goes, why is that wrong? And how I react to something is just how I react to something. I can't fix that. I can't choose that. He goes, yes, you can. Just stop and think for a second. Don't let yourself immediately react. It's going to take a while to do stuff like that, like to get that into practice. But don't just react to things. Let it sink in for a second and then choose what you do. true everything in life is a choice how I react to people being jerks on the road is up to me they don't they don't I can't blame them for how I'm reacting I can't really because it's a choice to react the way I did because some days when things like that happen I'm fine and I'm like you know what fine whatever but my mood it, it depends right like Whatever mood you're in, that's how you're going to react. And so you can't let your mood determine how you react to certain situations. You can just not react. Don't do it. Don't let it affect you. People are being jerks to you. Brush it off. Don't let it affect you. Now that's easier said than done, of course, because come on. Who's just going to let things like that happen? It's going to be difficult. I react to things sometimes very intensely. Like when I rant about jerks on the road. But what I do is all on me. As my choice. I didn't have to, but I did. I'm going to try not to react to things and think about them before I do anything about it. You need to act, not react. React meaning something happens, you immediately do something, knee-jerk reaction. Acting on something would be to stop, think, and decide what to do from there. Someone's teasing you. You can react by telling them to screw off or go, you know, tell them right where to go. Or you can stop, think, and act and say, you know what? What you're doing is not okay. And I don't really appreciate it. Could you please stop? You know, someone's being a jerk to you. You could cock your fist back and punch them in the face. <laughs> you could react that way. You know, you finally get to that point and you're like, you know what? No! And you just, in the face. Or, you can stop, take a breath, and say to them, hey, you know what? I'm going to walk away, because you're causing me strife, and I don't like it, so I'm just going to leave, and, you know, leave me be. Easy as that. It's almost time to go in. I wish... That didn't do that. It's 8.30. Two. So I'm going to go chill with Melinda for a second. And I'll catch you guys when work's over. Hey guys. I'm all done here at work. Sorry, just checking the time. It's like 42 or something. 47. Sorry about that. It was terrible. I'm not going to redo it though because I want to go home. So it's 4.47. Time for me to leave. Um,
I'm excited for the long weekend, that's for sure. Uh, going over to Danny's later, my buddy Danny's house later. Um, my friend Melinda might be coming with me. I don't know yet. Um, I'm bringing a game, some Boulder Dash. Um, but yeah, Lena's working late, so I got nothing to do, so why not, right? So I'll catch you guys when I get home. I'm home. I actually got home at 5.20, so it took me about 30 minutes to get home, basically. I just had to go to the bathroom when I got home. Uh, like a lot. Um, oh my gosh, I'm tired. <sighs> like really tired. Oh, my eyes look a weird color. And I'm almost like almost green. That's weird. My eyes are normally blue. I can't wait to cut all this off. You have no idea how much I can't wait to cut this all off. So it's Turkey Weekend, aka Thanksgiving weekend. And that means that I get turkey and pumpkin pie, and I'm excited because I love both of those things. Those are like my favorite things. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bees sting, when I'm feeling sad. I simply remember my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. That's how turkey and pumpkin pie make me feel. They make me feel like Julie Andrews when, you know, back in the day, before they messed her voice up when they did that operation. They took away something amazing from humanity that day. I guess when she was like, when she did um, The Princess Diaries 2, it was the first time she ever sang and was recorded singing since they screwed up. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Julie Andrews, so the one who was in like um, The Sound of Music and um, Mary Poppins and stuff like that, uh, she had, if you haven't seen this movie, what's wrong with you? Two, um, her voice is gorgeous. Just absolutely phenomenal. Like just classic. So classic. It's just, it makes you love your, like it makes you love everything. Like it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing voice. It's just the best. Okay. Um, she ended up with nodes on her vocal cords, which I also have nodes on my vocal cords. Which can cause you to like sound different and it makes it difficult to sing and stuff like that. And by difficult to sing, I mean it like it reduces your range because those nodes will rub and, and cause a different sound to kind of come out. It's, it's hard to really explain. Um, so she had them removed. Well, dude screwed up and removed basically her ability to sing. He scarred her vocal cords. He scarred them in a way that made it difficult for her to sing. Like, she could not sing anymore. Well, kind of. She can sing, but not nearly as well as she used to. She has very, very short range and not as much power in her voice as she used to have. Because I don't think if she let, if she tried to do a more powerful, uh, like, vocal, it would probably... Because um, your, your vocal cords, they vibrate, which causes sound. It would probably cause it to vibrate in a way like in a weird way and then and then cause it to not work um so if you've seen princess iris 2 you've probably seen that she sings in that in that um in that movie and that's the first time she sang on film um since uh the uh the operation in, in, on her vocal cords um and you could tell that it was not it was it was it, it's not it's no sound of music it's no mary poppins like you know no spoonful of sugar here no the hills are alive you know what I mean like it was very like you could tell like it did not sound anywhere near like she used to and it's not just because she got older um it's because of this that happened um I remember when I found out that that was a thing I'm like oh why doesn't Julie Andrew sing in her movies anymore you know I got a little curious because I was watching a lot of uh you know Mary Poppins my nieces were obsessed with, with Mary Poppins and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. She's not in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, but she is in Mary Poppins. We had to like switch them from Mary Poppins to something else. It turned out to be Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, which then I ended up not liking a lot either because then it was just obsessively watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang as well, but off topic. Um, uh, but Dick Van Dyke's in that one as well, just saying. Um, 
You know, the whole, uh, I shot an elephant in my pajamas, how he got my pajamas, I'll never know. That's from that movie, I'm pretty sure. Or I just quoted a movie that was totally different. Um, but yes, yeah, so back to Julie Andrews. So she did it in one take um, for Princess Diaries 2. Everybody was in tears. Literally everybody was in tears. Because one, they knew how powerful this moment really was. Like, imagine being able to do something so well. Like, you were amazing at this thing. Like, nobody... Now, I'm not saying that nobody can sing better than Julie Andrews. That's not what I'm trying to say. But I'm saying, like, you, you are known for this one thing. And Julie Andrews was known for not just her wonderful acting. She's a wonderful actress. She was not just known for that... But she was known for her voice. Hence why she was in musicals like The Sound of Music and uh, Mary Poppins. She was in more, but I just can't remember them right now. Those are just the two big ones that I remember. So imagine you are, that is what you're known for. You are known for singing and your amazing acting. Something happens to one of those things. Your voice. Uh, or let's say, let's say you're good at drawing. Okay. You're magnificent at it. You, you are, you are known for your art. Go in because I don't know. Uh, you got something wrong with your skin on your hand. I don't know. I'm just kind of like, just trying to figure something out. And the doctor says, oh, well, I have to do this to, to, to fix it. They give you a cream. They give you the wrong cream. You end up having some weird reaction to it. It starts eating away at the flesh of your hand, so they have to operate. While they're in there, they screw up and, like, I don't know, mess with, like, the nerves and tendons or something in your hand, and you're now screwed. You cannot draw anymore. Like, you can't do it. You try and you try, and it's not working. And so you just continue to try to hone that skill. And then like, I don't know, 20 years later, you show somebody a piece of artwork that you've done recently and they just start to bawl. Because it's beautiful. Not as great as what you used to do, but it's still the most beautiful thing that you've done in recent years. Like, can you imagine that? Can you imagine being like really good at something and then someone screwing up something and therefore taking away that amazing talent from you? I'd be mad, man. I'd be more than mad. I would be devastated. Absolutely devastated. And I'm pretty sure Julie Andrews was super devastated too because she had a gift, man. She had a real gift. She, was, she, she still is super talented. She is still an amazing actress. She's very well respected in, in in like the acting community and whatnot. But I think if I ever met her, I would not just cry because yeah, I'm meeting Julie Andrews. Like holy crap! It'd be like meeting Meryl Streep. Like for real. Like <laughs> you meet these people and you're like, oh my gosh! Like if I did that, I would not only cry because I was meeting a you know someone who I look up to. Basically, nobody. Not, <laughs> I'm admitting this for like the first time out. Um, I kind of look up to Julie Andrews a little bit, uh, just because she's a, a magnificent person, but also because of, of what happened to her. And I, I also suffer from nodes on my vocal cords and what happened to her actually scares the crap out of me to actually get anything done about it. Not only that though, but I talk for a living, not just here on YouTube because I don't actually make any money from this, but like my job is I'd like basically call center work. I'm, I'm on the phone all the time. I need to be able to talk. And if I got this done, I wouldn't be able to talk for a couple of weeks. Um, therefore, I would not be able to do my job. So not only that, though, I'm scared they're going to screw it up, but I'm not going to be able to sing anymore. Not that I think I'm a great singer, but I'm not, I don't make people's ear bleed, ears, ear bleed, ears bleed by any means. And nobody's ever like, hey, you really need to stop doing that because you suck. Like, you know what I mean? Sorry about that. I had a message and I did. They can go away. Um... You know what I mean? Like, I would feel for her, like, in an empathetic way so much. She's probably over it by now, but I'm never going to be over it. Okay? I don't think she really is ever going to be over it either. I think she just tries not to think about it. If it was me, I wouldn't either. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't... 
I wouldn't want to think about it either. How I had something so amazing and now I'm not even like, you know, one fifth of that anymore. You know what I mean? Like she had some range. She could carry a note for so long. Like she, uh, just watch those movies and, and tell me she's she's not great. Okay, just 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 saying, Julie Andrews. You're an amazing individual. You'll never see this, but I'm just telling you. I would weep for her. I would weep for her because of what happened. She sued the guy, for sure. Because, I mean, she lost out on a lot of money after that. Um, you can't sing anymore. There goes all of your, all of your, uh, a lot, like, at least half of the jobs you could have done in Hollywood at that time. Because back when, back when she was, you know, in like Mary Poppins and stuff like that, you actually had to have real talent. Now, I'm not saying that people these days don't have real talent. I'm just saying you had to have it all. You had to be able to sing, you had to be able to dance, and you had to be able to act. You had to do all three. No weird auto tuny crap. Like, you had to be good at what you did. Like, legitimately good. Not half-assed. You had to be awesome at it. You had to have the whole package to be successful back then in in the entertainment industry. You had to have it all. These days you can have one or the other. Not only that she was really pretty. She still is really pretty. So like you had to literally have everything to be successful back then. I mean look at Bing Crosby um look at uh Dick Van Dyke. Um, and it was funny to boot, too. Just saying. Like, it was just... You had to be... You had to have it all. Yep. And when you didn't, you didn't have as much work. Makes me upset. What? I can't think about it anymore. Because all I'm thinking about is... How would things have been different if that had never happened? Like, if she had never had that happen to her, what else could have been better with her in it? But I can't think like that. Because one, it disrespects people that actually did those jobs. Which I don't mean to do, I'm just saying, I fangirl over Julie Andrews. It just happens. How could you not? She's like... Simply perfect in every way. <laughs> uh, anyway, now that I've done my rant on that, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna end today's video with a rant about Julie Andrews and how amazing I think she is. Um, so you guys have yourself a great rest of your day. I don't know if I'll be doing anything. I'm going to the corn maze tomorrow. Maybe I'll video. Maybe I'll shoot a little bit of video while I'm in the corn maze tomorrow with Lena. Um, if weather permitting, because it's kind of gross out there right now. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Keep charming out.